welcome back everybody on today's episode or today's video we're going to talk about the 46 diamond t you guys have been asking what happened to it and what we're doing with it and i want to give you a little update I'll clean the lens there too there we go as you can see the plow truck is front and center i put away my gloves and my vest from last night because casey and i went on a search and rescue mission in the great white north and snow last night so that was fun uh, plow truck's all fired up. I gotta check the fluids today, make sure it's ready to roll. It's front and center so that if we get a big dump of snow again, then uh, it's ready to go. So, all right, the diamond T. Oh, I did run over to a uh, gentleman's house this weekend and picked up a bed. You can see that this is a 69 to 75. D series step side short bed. I was going to put that on the crew cab travelette short bed truck, possibly. Man, I didn't realize there was that much mud. Holy cow. So that, that guy's place was over in the valley and it was much wetter than it is here and muddier. And when I came back over the hill, it was snowy and uh, wet. So, yeah. Apparently there's quite a bit of mud. Okay, there's a cowboy truck, green bean, and the old faithful Scout 800 waiting to go snow wheeling. The Diamond T is sitting over here, and I'm going to tell you that we've had a lot of interest in people asking about this. Uh, one you guys have been asking what happened to it and two people asking if it's for sale and if you know they can buy it which it is for sale if somebody does want it um you can get a hold of me 406 garage sales at gmail.com and we can talk about it um, i am going to pick up the log bunk trailer that went with this truck <clears throat> the gentleman just uh hasn't been back to the property recently for him to get it out so he when he gets back he's going to call me and we're going to go get that um, did straighten out the roof that did pop back out there's a few dents and dings left um, not perfect but it did come out and I'm not sure if you guys know this on these diamond tees these windshields are individual so they crank out on both sides um, did try oh, did try and start the old girl and uh, unfortunately we have a locked up motor so that was a fail and uh, it's complete you can see the carburetors on the air filters on everything's on the spark plugs are all in everything else but um, the uh, rodents have chewed the spark plug wires that's not a big deal but the engine is uh, yeah it's not it's not free so we will have to do some further work on that or the reality is is whoever wants to take this truck and turn it into something is probably not going to use that motor anyway so I was just trying to see if we could get it going but it doesn't um, amazingly the brakes work the steering works and it rolls and the transmission all works and stuff so the transmissions not rotted or rusted out or nothing like that and the rear end is free it's a two-speed rear end and uh, I mean the brakes aren't great by any means but they they'll stop it if you're moving it around if I showed last time you see the pretty cool that has the you know that somebody had to make this this is 1946 so that was made by hand the other one got covered up by the pintle hitch right there pintle hitch this is what pulled the log trailer off the back and there was a log bunk on here too so um, still haven't figured out where bullet holes came from. I did ask him about that. He wasn't sure. Uh, I don't think it was involved in a shootout or anything like that, but you know, somebody got it pretty good over here. You can see. Yeah. Oh, that door's locked. Come on, really? I didn't lock it. Did you lock it? 
kind of love the old sealed beam with the glass blinkers on the top and the pedestals, the cast pedestals. It's pretty awesome. And I love these emblems. I told you guys that before, it's one of my favorite. So the update is it's still here. It is still for sale. Sorry about the wind, it just started, of course. The motor is locked up. The roof is pushed back out. The axles and wheels are free. The brakes are working. The steering does work. And the transmission is also free. So, yeah, what do you guys think? Those are battery boxes and then a storage box on the other side. This is your air conditioning vent right here. If you know what I mean, it's kind of funny. So, anyway, just thought I'd give you guys a quick update on that. You were asking. Um, unfortunately, they don't always come back to life real easily, and this one didn't, obviously, because the motor is stuck. So, but all things considered, most everything else on it is good. So, the motor probably could be fine. Might need to just pull spark plugs, dump a bunch of uh, ATF diesel fuel and miracle oil down there, see if we can get it freed up. So, Lucy is on the terror today. Hopefully gonna take that out snow wheeling soon. Looking forward to that. That's gonna be fun, I love snow wheeling. Uh, green bean is still for sale. If anybody is interested, message me, we can talk about that. There's a whole video about that. Um, if it doesn't sell, it's not gonna break my heart. I love this truck, but uh, just trying to get a few of these other collections taken care of. And the video from the other day, you saw Nick's pick. His Nick, Nick's pick was the cowboy truck, which is pretty cool. He loves this thing. He loves driving it. That's pretty neat. Um, and then all the stuff that's still here. You guys go to the website, 406garage.com. You can see the inventory. Um, I've had, for some reason, recently, I've had a few of you guys asking about the Metro vans that were on the website. If you look, those are in the sold page, meaning those were sold long ago. Whenever something sells on our website, it moves over to the sold page and the price disappears and it just says sold on it. So if you look at the top of the page, it says this vehicle's been sold. So you guys messaging me about the 59 Metro, it's been gone for like two years and it's being used in Southern California. It's uh, the guy actually totally redid it. It's awesome. So sorry about that, but uh, we don't have any of the Metro vans currently. I did find one the other day and I think we are going to bring it home. I posted it on my Instagram stories if you guys saw that, but uh, yeah, I haven't gone and picked it up yet. So there's some current stuff that's sitting here. These are all runner drivers. This stuff's all on the website too, if you guys are curious. So man, look at that big tumbleweed that blew in here. This is how hard the wind was blowing this weekend, you guys. Look at the size of this. Now it's dead, it doesn't weigh anything, like it's lightweight, see that? But the wind picked this up and blew it all the way down in here between all these trucks. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, it was blowing like 40, 50 miles an hour here. It was not awesome. Not my favorite. brisk this morning. I don't know what it's like where you guys are at, but it is brisk here. It's like 20 some degrees. There you go, Lucy. She was just literally waiting for me to set that down because she wants to play with it. She'll, she'll take anything. It's crazy. This dog is nuts. There's the brush pile. <laughs> there she goes. There's a the brush pile. We just got done pruning all the trees here and getting everything ready so we're going to burn that on january 1st that's a monster but uh just trying to clear things out so we can plant some wild grass and some bushes and stuff on the ground here and get some ground cover so i think she's just going to sit there and chew that up huh. so not a huge update video sorry i know you guys are chomping at the bit for more stories and stuff like that which we're gonna do soon but we gotta got to thin this herd a little bit so to speak all this stuff is for sale for you guys and I know that you love that I save them all and I keep them all and I get all the stories and stuff and I do too 
but I gotta pass them on to you guys so that we can go get more so I can make more content for you guys as well. So if you know somebody looking, share the website. If you uh, know somebody that likes to watch the old videos or hear the stories, share the uh, share the YouTube. That would be great. I don't know if I've showed this before yet. This is a 74, 75 cab complete, and this is a 69, 1300. I don't know if these have made it to the website yet. You guys look and tell me if they have or not. All right. A little bit of me rambling, a little bit of me doing my morning walk here. And uh, every day when I come out with Lucy in the morning, we do the morning walk. We kind of check all the trucks and check everything to make sure that no trees fell on anything and there's no snow on anything and, that, you know, nothing needs attention. So, you know... It's kind of like having animals, <laughs> except these aren't animals. <laughs> They're just a whole bunch of trucks. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll be back with more content real soon, I promise. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Have a great rest of your day.